Hi, my name is Pastor Tekerwa. Did you know that Jesus is coming again? In the Bible, he records on John chapter 14, verses 1 to 3. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you that I go and prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. This is a promise that Jesus is telling his own disciples. By the way, when we talk about the second coming, Jesus was always talking about the second coming to his own. This is not a gospel for everyone. It's a gospel for those who only believe in him. Do you believe in him? Do you trust his word? Do you know that his promises are sure? Now, in the word, he starts off by saying, believe in me, believe in God. Let me challenge you. Do you believe in the God who created the heaven and the earth? Do you believe in the God who knows the end from the beginning? Do you believe in the God who spoke all things out into existence? Do you believe in this God who sits on the throne? He is the one who answers your prayers. He is the one who knows your future. Your name is written in his hands. He understands who you are. He even knows the numbers of your hair in your head. This is the God who says, I am coming again. The God who blesses you. He gives you breath. He promised that I'm coming again. All he's asking is believe. And then he says, in my father's house are many mansions. He's talking about his father's house. He's talking about the great things that happened in his father's house. In other words, there's a place for you. There's a place for me. There's a place for her and a place for him. Every one of us is accommodated. There is never overpopulation in the kingdom of God. And he says, I am going to prepare. And when I'm done, I'll come back. This is the hope of the church. This is the hope of everyone who is in the Christendom. We are waiting for him to come again. His second coming is going to be great. It's going to be powerful. First time he came as a little baby. But when he comes now, he comes in glory with power. On that day, you need to have believed. You need to be standing there. You need to shout with the rest of the world. This is the Lord that we have been waiting for. When he comes, answers also come. May God bless you.